What's up YouTube? Like a strife here. Uh, coming uh, to you with a very late video. It's uh, almost a quarter to 12. Uh, tomorrow is Good Friday. And uh, I thought it was time to annoy Martin after the live stream that he and Lucas made. And I sent them a picture of a, uh, or a draft actually, which is a picture of a controller that I designed. And I'm going to show you it right now. So this right here, which you can see in the Skype message is actually me baiting him out and telling him, look, there's a controller on the market for Drift. We can probably get that made. Um, people might be very interested in it. I, I know I am. Um, and he replied a quarter to 10, we will start tooling next week. Now, of course, that's super duper sarcasm right there. But <laughs> it was funny that he responded anyway to me. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what I made. Um, I'm going to switch over. There we go. Let's see if OBS is picking up. Yep. Okay, so this is based on a uh, NVIDIA Shield controller. Now, I've had this controller a while back. Um, I've had the NVIDIA Shield a while back. I don't have it anymore. But I really, really love the way that the controller um, feels and the weight of it. It was To me, it's almost a perfect controller. Um, and to be quite fair, it's it's uh, nice for using it maybe with drift. So what I did was I made a little mock-up right here, like I said, a draft. And I put the, the drift logo on there. I used the orange and the white, which could have been silver as well. But I think white is nice. Um, it would be cool if the drift logo would glow, you know, like RGB. Uh, maybe the hybrid gaming would be nice for RGB. Or where the letters gaming are, you could change that to maybe buttons. But either way, it's I think it's a nice uh, thing like this. Um, I just made it in Microsoft Paint because I'm cheap like that. Uh, I don't know how to do uh, stuff with photo editing software or whatever. I, I'm not really good with that. So I just made a simple mock-up here in uh, Microsoft Paint. And uh, yeah, you use the, uh, the triggers for accelerate and brake. Uh, and maybe if you hold the brake, you can go into reverse. Depends on if you want to have that on or not. And of course, the, the most cool thing that you can do with a controller is manually shift. And uh, me, personally, I drift a lot with the, the drift racers. Uh, hence the name that's called Drift. I mean, sure, you can race with them. But uh, I like drifting a lot. I like Gymkhana a lot. So I would like to be able to shift myself, you know, um, keep the speed in check, uh, shift up and down with the right bumper and the left bumper. Uh, so yeah, then you can use the D-pad either for left and right steering if you want to do like the small increments, if you're not used to the analog sticks. Uh, or you could maybe map those controllers to maybe starting up the engine, putting on your headlights, stuff like that. Um, and then the right stick, well you can still do stuff with the right stick as well. If you want you can use it as the right going um, area for the car and the left going the left stick for the left area. But I think normally we always use our left thumb and use it for steering on the left stick. Or maybe you can map it in the in the game or in the app that you can put it on the right stick. Depends on if you are um, dominant in one hand. You know, you have people that have to reverse control sometimes in games. Then we have the C and the H, which are orange. And the C is for clutch, aka clutch kick. And the H is for the handbrake. So you gas and then you can use the thumb for handbraking, which in my opinion is the, the same setup that I use in um, in video games. And then, of course, you have the, um, the the reverse button if you want to use it like that. You can switch maybe to reverse or just like, you know, um, toggle it or just keep it on the whole time so you can reverse. I needed to adjust my microphone there. I see it's a little bit too loud. Um, and then you can use the L button for your lights. You know, it's nice. You can put your lights on and off. You can uh, like do a little bit of blinking towards other people if you're uh, tandem drifting with them or racing. But yeah, of, of course, a controller has so much more uh, potential to be uh, useful in an app like that with so many functions. So this this was just my my pitch to him. And uh, I know that he is laughing about this and he's like, oh, here we have him again with his weird ideas. But you know, I, I wanted to try this for the community as well because I know that there are people out there that would like to have an extra choice available to them you know uh, everybody's still fine with using their mobile phone to uh, play with the drift racer and the app but the more choice the better right and if there are people that just don't like playing on a mobile phone this is something they could use in the future 
and that would make them probably happy uh, as well. I know that I would be very happy because I would like to have extra options. I mean, I'm still playing with a tablet or with my phone, which is still fine. But um, there's something more special about tapping buttons and stuff like that and feeling buttons than just going over a screen with your thumb or your index finger or whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just old school in that. So again, I'm not hating on, on A or on B. It's just that the more uh, choices we have as a consumer, the better it is. So um, yeah, this was, this was just a draft. And I hope to get some responses, some likes, um, and some comments in the in the video, on the video. If you think this is a good idea, let me know. If you think this is a bad idea, it's fine. You can let me know as well. And um, yeah, I mean, we're living in the digital age, so technically, we should be able to we should be able to check out all the possibilities and go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this this small video, real quick. Uh, I hope you like my mock-up, even though it's uh, being received as uh, a funny thing. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a, a good, good Friday. Have a good, good Friday. And uh, stay safe. Stay connected. Leave a like. Punch that subscribe button. Uh, I'm close to the 1400. I'm just, I think, 12 or 22 away from getting to 1400. Uh, I still have to get to 1500 to do that giveaway. So it's going to take some time. I hope there are some more people uh, checking in and... Uh, liking and subscribing. So again, thanks for that. Stay safe. See you guys in the next video. Hopefully more Drift Racer content. Stay tuned.